The party's treasurer general, Nikos Met, wants a commission to be established similar to South Africa's Judicial Commission of Inquiry into state capture known as Zondo Commission. In terms of that country's proclamation, the commission was mandated to inquire, investigate and make recommendations into any and all allegations of state capture, corruption and fraud in the public sector. There are too many things that's, that's not clear, which the government is not honest and trustworthy on. And uh, only, it can only be expo exposed by a, by a commission, uh, which is uh, run by independent people, not by government people, by independent, by a judge or some other legal people, be the chairperson of that, and, and expose that people can come and give evidence uh, to that uh, to that commission, and the, that the public can attend it, the public can go and listen what happened here. Smith believes such commission will set the motion to effectively investigating corruption. He claims that many Namibians have lost faith in the anti-corruption commission and the ombudsman for allegedly failing to investigate high-profile citizens. Smith made reference to the Minister of Mines and Energy, who said recently to have no knowledge that Namdia belongs to government. It's really, uh, you can't believe it. It's not mind-boggling, it's totally crazy. Because the board members of Nam Namdia are being appointed by cabinet, of which he is a member of cabinet since 2015, before Namdia was started. He was already in, parliament, uh, in cabinet and under the chairmanship of, of the president. Now they doesn't know that this company belongs to, to, to the government. What does it say? And look at, look at the exorbitant fees that Namdia is paying their board members. It was the other day in the newspaper. 1.2 million, 1.4 million. What must they do to receive that type of money? PDM is convinced that such a commission will make a great impact into state capture as the country seems to be rapidly following into the footsteps of its neighbor. He says despite promise by President Gengop to root out and eradicate corruption, nothing has allegedly happened to bring the culprits to book. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Venduk.